Hey, Ryan here with AlarmSystemStore.com. I've been getting a lot of tech calls lately about my system saying secure system before arming or fault. Um, I'm really going to touch on the Honeywell and the DSC systems. Honeywell systems, if you've got an open circuit, it's going to sit there and say fault zone one. Um, DSC, it's going to sit there and say secure system before arming. And if you scroll and view, it's going to be for example, zone one. Um, I'm going to show you a couple different ways how you can try to diagnose the problem yourself to see if it's the board or if it's the wiring or even the security device component itself. Um, so let's go over to my programming table. I've got a system set up over there and I'm going to show you the most common things that happen when this situation arises. Fault front door, or fault front uh, zone one, secure system before arming zone one, however you may have it programmed in your system depends on how it's actually going to dis be displayed. On a Honeywell system, if you've got an open circuit, it's going to say fault. On a DSC system, it's just going to tell you to secure system before arming and display what zone is actually open. So let's go to my programming table and uh, let's check this out. Okay, here we are at the programming table. I'm going to be using a DSC 1832 system to show you the different ways that you can find out what is causing your open zone or your zone fault on your Honeywell or DSC system. On a Honeywell system, just keep in mind that it's going to show zone fault and then we'll display the zone number. On a DSC system, it's just going to tell you to secure your system before arming and if you scroll, you can see the zone that is actually open. So the first thing we want to do is I want to try to arm the system. So I'm going to arm the system and it gives me a long beep. There's a failure. Okay, secure system before arming. So I will scroll through to see it says zone one. Well the first thing you want to do is actually physically check that zone. A lot of times I deal with people who are trying to arm their system and it's saying that their front door is unsecured. I asked them, is your front door open? Yes, it is. Once they close the door, then they will actually get a green check mark. The DSC will show a green check mark. On a Honeywell system, your keypad will actually give you a green light, and if you've got a alpha keypad, it's going to display disarmed, ready to arm. So you go to your front door. Okay, it's closed. Here's my front door switch. The next thing you want to do is just open and close the door a couple times just to see if for some reason it needs to be just somehow reset and we just open and close it a couple times. That doesn't work. Double check the gap to make sure for some odd reason nothing has slid or if the weather changes sometimes the trim, the molding around your door, the wood will actually swell and sometimes will cause the magnet to move away from the switch. And if all that's good, it's like, okay, I still don't have anything. You can always undo the wires at the switch. Now, what happens to me a lot out in the field, let me use a different screwdriver there. What happens to me a lot out in the field is on a new installation, uh, when I do these surface mount contacts and I put wire underneath the screw terminals, sometimes if you tighten down too tight, it will actually break the copper wire underneath and, and the screw terminal will be holding down on the insulation but there's a short there there's a break in the line which is going to create an open loop so always check that you can also to eliminate anything being wrong with the switch itself at the end of the line you can sit there where the device attaches and just twist the two wires together and I notice on the keypad I still don't have a green light so the problem isn't here. I've got copper wire showing. The switch was good. So you can just put those right back in. So that means the next thing is the issue may be at the board. You know, is, is there an issue with the wiring? Is there an issue with the motherboard? We don't know yet. So let's move to the motherboard to see what we can get. Okay, here we are at the main brain, the main panel, the motherboard, whatever you may want to call it. And we're trying to figure out what is wrong with zone one. Why is it showing open zone 
And of course, on a Honeywell system, let me remind you that it's going to show zone fault. A fault on a Honeywell system does not mean anything bad. It just means you have an open zone somewhere. So since we're dealing with zone one, on a DSC system, it's going to be Z1 and COM. So if we look at Z1 and COM, which you got Z1 and COM, we can almost immediately see an open loop. If you notice real close, if you take a look at my green wire, somehow, some way, while I was wiring everything up, I have a wire that is, had come out of the comm. So all I'm going to do is just put it right back in. And tighten it down. And if I take a look at my keypad, I've got my green check mark which means the zone's taken care of. If you've done that, good. Yeah, you, you found your problem, you got it fixed. If for some reason you still don't have a green check mark or your system isn't showing secured, the next thing you wanna do is check and, and create a small jumper between Z1 and COM. So I'm going to remove the whole line, the switch and everything from, from the system because I've done checked the wiring I done check the switch. Next thing to do is I'm going to create a jumper. If you're using normally closed zones without any resistors, um, then this will be fairly easy. You can just use a small little jumper, and in this case, jump Z1 and COM. If you're dealing with the zone five or something like that, this jump Z5 and COM. So your your jump basically whatever zone that you're working with, whatever shown open or whatever one you have a uh, fault on. So you can use a small jumper, check your keypad. Once again, I got a green check mark, so that's good. If you're using resistors, you must use end of line resistors on everything if you're using normally open. If you're trying to check a loop and you are required to use end of line resistors, if you don't have an end of line resistor, on your system you want to make sure you use one. On Honeywell the common resistor that is used is the 2K resistor. On a DSC it's 5.6K unless you are using a two-wire smoke detector on a DSC then it's going to be a 2.2K resistor. So if you don't have a small jumper readily available to you you can also use a resistor. I happen to have a resistor here. I put it in. And if I take a look at my keypad, I got a green check mark. If you try these steps using the resistor, using a jumper, twisting the ends together at the switch and unscrewing your wire from the switch to make sure the insulation hasn't been broken off. If you're still showing an open circuit or a zone fault, then the issue may be within the circuit board. But if you call us for help, we'll be glad to help you as we always are with any of our customers. Um, but these will be the steps that we actually will uh, send you through to begin with before we go any further as far as seeing if the board is defective. So once again, if you've got a Honeywell system and you're showing zone fault or a DSC system and you're showing a open zone, be sure to check your wiring and the issue is going to be within the wiring or the device somewhere. If you've got an idea for an alarm tech video um, or you'd like just any information on our products, give us a call, 888-811-0727. I'm Ryan with AlarmSystemStore.com.